I'd like to call the Council on Aging uh, meeting opens and thank you and I'd like to, to take the uh, uh, the uh, attendance on staff roll call oh. roll call just our names yeah oh Dan Boyle Carol Zukowski Bob Rowe Cheryl Westerman Jean Black <coughs> Roger OJ Jerry Goff yeah. Sharon Lindsay Sheila Hunter Thank you. We all stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, Carol and I were talking. And I told her that usually what happens is we get the um, the minutes of the meeting, and first thing you know, somebody's making uh, the motion to accept, and yet they haven't read them. And I just said maybe we should we can take a vote on it. Maybe we should read them, like Carol stand and, and read them, and then we can make a motion to accept them or not. Um, do we have anybody that would like to do that or or do you want them just like they always do, throw them on the table? I make a motion that we take a few minutes to read the minutes. You want to read them or have Carol read it and then we all hear it at the same oh, time? Oh, you want to read it, Carol? Oh, no, sure. Huh? You don't have to read them. You don't have to read you them? Read them individually. Right now? Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It was just something we had talked about. Something has to be corrected on the meet minutes. It says next meeting on the board will be on Tuesday, January 9th. It's not the 9th. No. Today's the 14th. Okay. That's the only thing that has to be changed. Okay, what did I do? Okay, so are you making a motion? Yeah. To accept that it's, oh, well, not yeah. as bad. January 14th, making a motion. We accept the current date of January 14th. Second. 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 Okay, all those in favor? All right. All right. Okay, motion passed. Do we have any extra citizens that want to make comments here? Do we have any communication, Carol? No. We didn't get anything. Okay. Minutes of the uh, meeting for the budget. The budget? Okay, so you each have a copy of the budget, which um, I just handed out to you. There is one for the state formula grant, which is um, year to date budget report. And then the other one is the formula grant, so town budget and formula grant budget you have. Do you have any questions? I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. No questions? Any other concerns? How about the director's report on the budget? Um, so I'll just talk to you a little bit about um, different programs that we have upcoming. So now for the rest of January, today we do have a brand new baking class that just started. Um, Richard Humphrey and Diane Auger are leading the class and today they're baking healthy breads. That's a new class that we've just started. Um, and then coming up on the 16th, anyone wants to join us, it is memory loss presentation. Um, let's see, 
Next week, we also have on the 23rd, Sari Bickus is coming from the Storalka Society and doing a presentation on Mary Roberts Reinhardt. She usually comes um, the third or the fourth Thursday of the month at 11 o'clock. So just check your calendar because the date could change a little bit. Let's see. Um, I believe the class is full, but we do have Brookdale, which comes over and they do a painting class every mm -hmm. couple months. And this is wine glass painting. So that's sponsored by Brookdale. Mm -hmm. So we thank them as well for, for doing a class for us. Um, some other upcoming programs in February. Would be we are going to have a flower arranging class, so that um, tentatively is set for February the sixth. We're just trying to iron out the last of the details. Um, <coughs> I believe, don't quote me yet. As I said, it's tentative, but the arrangement is going to be twelve dollars payable to the instructor, and it's from um, a flower shop which is in Worcester. Worcester. Worcester that's going to be coming. Um, and I'm also working with Eleanor Bechet, who is um, at the Auburn Elks, and they have a donation for us, and it will probably be either um, painting on canvas, or she mm -hmm. talked about um, wood that you would stencil something on, and then so you shellac it somehow. So that's still getting worked out, but they're donating that as well, and refreshment. So that um, tentatively is for February the 10th. Um, let's see, on the 13th, Dr. Claremont is here and he's doing a presentation on chocolate and caffeine. That's at 10.30 a.m. And then on February the 20th, Nicole Reynolds from Elder Services of Worcester is coming to talk to us about how to read food labels and food nutrition. Um, that's on 10 o'clock, again, on February the 20th. So that's some upcoming things for February. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? We've had um, good response to the Cultural Council. They approved our, our grants. So we do have um, Tommy Rule who will be performing, Dan Kirak, we have Don Kelly, um, there's one other, I don't forget. Oh, Tim Van Carmond, he's coming too. So there were four that we were approved for. Um, let's see, every year we do have a volunteer luncheon that we thank our volunteers for. Part of it is paid by the um, town budget and the other part is through FASCA. So this year we've set the date, it is April the 26th, which is a Sunday. So any volunteer that has worked for 25 hours will be invited to the um, Auburn Elks Club. Again, that's April 26th, but you have to volunteer at the Senior Center for at least 25 hours. It will be by invitation. Um, let's see. We are in the process of hiring a new van driver. The hours will be um, days is Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And the hours are basically from 8 to 4, give or take. So no more than 19 hours a week. So we, that will be in the paper probably today, the Telegram and Gazette. Anyone's interested can get an application. Uh, resume and send that to me here at the Senior Center. So again, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. No um, we had talked previously about the pool room and it is going to be painted. Um, we're still in the process of painting, uh, picking up the paint color and the pool table and some of the cabinets is still on the auction list. I did check with Jeff Mitchell, so that's being worked on. So that will be cleared out once it is. The room's going to be painted. And that's by um, D.A. Joseph Early's office. So they'll come in and paint that room for us. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Next on my list, tax appointments. There is one day left with um, limited appointments. We're, we are quite full. Um, over 70 appointments that we have already have reserved. So we do thank AARP for coming again because they volunteer their time to come and do tax appointments for us. Let's see, we do have a new caregiver, caregiver, excuse me, caregiver support group for um, people that have Alzheimer's <coughs> and dementia. And Usha Verma, who's our outreach coordinator, she's going to start that in April. So it's the first Monday in April from 1 to 2.30. So um, we'll have that in the newsletter a little bit more when we have all the details finalized for you. Um, let's see. That's about all I have for as far as programs and upcoming uh, 
um, programs. Mm, busy. Okay, is there any unfinished or old business? I don't mean old like us. <laughs> I mean me. <laughs> but but uh, any out of... Can you think of anything that we have not hit yet? Or anyone we haven't hit? I'm still asking too if anyone has any ideas that they want to see for programs, if you could come and see me. We're still we're uh, working on new programs, you know, for the start of the year. So we've made good progress for January, February, March, as Bob knows. <laughs> so Bob puts all the programs into the newsletter and does all the flyers for us. So we wanna I wanna thank him again because he's a tremendous help to me getting that newsletter done. So Thank you. Um, I don't know. Does anyone have anything they want to talk about that we may have? I may have missed. I mean, we've got the program update. Anything else? Any? I mean, it's got miscellaneous here, but I don't know. And do we have any comments? Nobody. <laughs> I think everything's going uh, pretty I, I well. Just like this morning's paper, the uh, Julie Jacobson was appointed again. Should we send her congratulations and best wishes? She got yes. another term. Yeah. Oh, because she Julie got Jacobson. Yeah, we want to congratulate her for um, MMA and her contract. That was a wonderful write-up. It, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Really, yeah. 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 Very nice. Shows how valuable she is. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. really a very good time manager. Yeah. She deserves every time. minute of it too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Well, excuse me. Then we're done. If no one has anything to say, I'm going to call the meeting. Okay, meeting is closed. <laughs>